Are the streaming services really not making money? They're making money, just not as much as they want, and feel they can. But they've done, are doing to streaming what they did to satellite, cable. They've saturated the market with content spread across loads of different subscriptions. All asking for an individually high price. And then smashed ads back into something you already pay for money for. Netflix and Hulu are the only two streaming services that are currently making profit. That's not to say the other platforms aren't profitable because they are. Or at least will be. It's just that the costs associated with launching a streaming platform are so high that it takes a few years to recover that initial investment. Their revenue is greater than their expenses and thus closing the deficit at varying rates. Disney and HBO are the highest grossing streaming services turning over roughly two and four times what Netflix and Hulu do respectively. Disney is due to start making profits sometime next year I believe. Not sure about the others but I don't imagine it'll be too long until they're in the black either. Regarding Netflix it's a case of not making as much profit as they once were and wanting to retain those same margins. This is mainly a result of once being the only option and now having a multitude of competitors. As a result their practices are pissing a lot of people off. The Netflix of the world might be losing money in the short term. But long term they are building a huge catalog of content that will pay dividends for decades. Not to mention a barrier to entry. Due to the sheer number of subscribers. That makes it difficult for anyone to just launch a streaming service. Numbers also equal power when it comes to the occasional cultural revolt. Remember those campaigns like hashtag drop Dave Chappelle? Even if 200,000 people cancel Netflix. It's a drop in the bucket. Who are you afraid to ask this to? Now that the market is basically overflooded. It's harder to maintain the same profit margin. They make plenty. But now that there's so much competition, they need to make even more to keep shareholders interested. I believe Disney Plus legitimately is losing money. They're certainly not making bank like some Hollywood movies like to brag with. Although they are pretty much struggling with tanking movies too right now since nobody goes to the cinema anymore but they for sure are making money to sustain themselves and produce plenty of stuff without going into bankruptcy but as with everything else capitalism it's not geared to sustaining reinvestment but constant growth they do not constantly grow anymore and have to face the fact that with all the services out there now the users have become picky and not every service can picky back on that new frontier of online customers anymore the way they'd hope to. So, do they make money? Yes, they do. Do they make enough money to be seen as a sustainable worthwhile deal in modern day capitalism? Nah, but that's their own fault. How much do the top executives of Netflix bring in yearly? If they aren't making a profit, it's because the top level salaries are too high. They've spent billions to create their own contents and grow their user bases. And now investors are trying to cash in on the investments they've made all these years. They're in that stage of capitalism where they are trying to draw blood from a stone. Extracting more profits from a pre-existing demographic as opposed to trying to get new people on board. Their primary customers are investors and they demand more. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.